Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about email deliverability. So the question is, are your emails going through? So I'm gonna show you how to make sure and how I run email deliverability here. So um, this is Infusionsoft, but just apply this to your own CRM. So first of all, you should be monitoring how your emails are doing, obviously. So these are this is my emails and my account. I just sent one out a couple hours ago. It's gonna show me a report of how many were sent the open rate percentage, click percentage, so I can actually see the report. Um, now this is for broadcast when you send out an email to your entire list or a large portion of your list, right? So it's saying 69 were delivered, um, I guess one bounced, so I can see who that was. Um, and then one person opt out, I can see who that was, and then you know, open percentage and all that kind of stuff. So one thing is just to keep track and have run your stats on how this is kind of going. Um, Next thing is having in your CRM, in your marketing, uh, in your autoresponder or whatever you're using for your email, um, monitoring the status of the email addresses. So, um, and yeah, so uh, in this I can see, you know, who are engaged and who are unengaged. So unengaged, there's only one person, it's been three months, and then everybody else is engaged on the list. Now that's pretty uncommon. Now in this platform, um, there's actually settings for managing your list. So once people don't engage for three months, they're gonna go from engaged to unengaged. And once people don't engage for six months, they're gonna go from marketable to unmarketable, basically like they're opted out. So actually, a good thing for me to check would be how many people are have not engaged and therefore my system automatically opted them out. So if I pulled this up and went to unengaged non-marketable, this is the list of people who, because they didn't uh, engage in so long, my system automatically um, opted them out. And I'm actually going to unengaged non-marketable. I'm going to create a list for that. So now I can easily pull those up. So managing those things, one thing I do with people, another thing I just did was people who are... Um, not confirmed. So confirmed mean they clicked an email saying, yes, I confirmed that I want to receive this. I just pulled uh, a list of these people who are unconfirmed. I'm actually going to save this one as well because I hadn't unconfirmed. Um, I added these people to a campaign of mine that uh, double opts them in. Now in Canada, it's actually a law. Uh, my understanding is that you have to have people double opted in in order to send them email marketing. So you can see in my email confirmation campaign here, uh, that I added those people to it, so hopefully they'll confirm their email addresses, which increases deliverability as well. So those are some things you'll have to adjust it for your own CRM if you're not using Infusionsoft. But and then lastly, um, every couple a couple times a year, you can use a service like Clean13 that will basically scan all the email addresses. So how it works is you just export the emails out of your uh, marketing automation platform, your autoresponder, put it into here, it'll check them all and it'll spit out a report like this telling you how many are verified, yeah, they're good emails, how many are completely undeliverable, how many are um, going to catch alls, because that's like a business email that maybe that employee's not no longer and it's just, so it's not for sure verified, so you might want to double check those people, send them a double opt-in. Malformed is when they put, you know, Gmail spelt wrong or something like that. Spam traps absolutely kill your deliverability. So it's really important that you take care of those and opt those out. Uh, those are old email addresses in, G in Google, Gmail, or Yahoo, or AOL, or whatever, that they turn into basically traps to say to catch email spammers. Because email spammers will continue to mailing people. And my settings that you just saw there, that after people don't engage for a certain amount of time, which would be the case with an old email address, um, I'm not going to email them anymore and I keep a good reputation which allows my emails to actually get through to people. Complainers are kind of like high risk people um, that are either going to click on all your stuff or opt out. Bots are obviously just computer generated stuff and unknown are ones that you just have to confirm. So running your list through a system like this uh, twice a year is good. It costs depending on the size of your list 10 to 100 or 200 dollars. Um, so that's a bit on email deliverability. I've learned that it's, it's really important to manage it, um, keep track of it. Another thing um, as well that someone uh, taught me was to mail your engaged people first and then your unengaged people. So if I was going to send an email broadcast, for example, to my entire list, list like a newsletter, then, and I keep losing the, the search, I would run it to my engaged people first. So I'd schedule it for all of these people for right now or whenever I want it. And then the unengaged people, 
um, I would run 24 hours later. And the reason is, is when it gets to, you know, on, uh, it gets to those engaged people, they're going to open it, they're going to highly engage and Google and Yahoo, all the email service providers, or ESP for short, are going to say, oh, you're not a spammer. These are good emails. People are clicking, engaging, replying. I'm going to let your emails through, and then you email the un unengaged people, and it'll have a higher deliverability. So there's some tips and some things that I'm currently doing. Those are things that I'm aware of to increase email deliverability. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, talk to you guys again soon.